Item Number SCP-2120 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Instances of SCP-2120 are to be contained and towed to an appropriate Foundation-controlled harbor for further investigation. In the event that an instance of SCP-2120 is believed to be an immediate threat to exploration teams or civilian vessels, MTF Gamma-6, Drydox, has been authorized to use necessary force in order to neutralize any danger the instance might pose. Information and technology recovered from instances of SCP-2120 are to be moved to Site-65 for testing and cataloging. Description Instances of SCP-2120 are various anomalous naval vessels that randomly appear in an area roughly 500 kilometers in diameter near the island of Bermuda in the Atlantic Ocean. SCP-2120 instances seemingly materialize approximately 1.7 kilometers below the ocean's surface and then rapidly ascend to sea level where they come to rest, along with being thoroughly flooded. Footnote 1 Instances of SCP-2120 will not anomalously empty of excess liquid after a short period of time above water. SCP-2120 instances occasionally show signs of external distress. Most damaged functions tend to be non-insulated electrical, nuclear, and gravitational devices on board the vessels, although major structural compromises are not uncommon. SCP-2120 vary in model, ranging from those resembling Phoenician triremes to 18th century ships of the line to modern aircraft carriers. Additional vessels have been observed, however, no modern or historical counterpart for these instances have been identified. Regardless of their construction, all recovered instances of SCP-2120 have been fitted with a number of advanced technologies, the majority of which are in various states of disrepair. For a list of recovered instances and their anomalous technologies, see Addendum 2120-1. SCP-2120 instances all bear the name of what is currently believed to be their original designer, Boeing Aquatics. Investigations into the Boeing Company of North America have ruled out any correlation between the two groups. Recovered information from SCP-2120 instances indicate that Boeing Aquatics is a seafaring vessel manufacturer originating in the city of New Boston, the capital of the Confederate Socialist Colonies of the New World. According to this information, the CSCNW Footnote 2 Currently believed to be a conglomeration of most of North, Central, and South America was involved in a large-scale arms race with two aggressor nations, the Lord God's Eternal Anglican Union and the Khan Empire. Research into the potentially extra-dimensional origin of SCP-2120 instances is ongoing. Addendum 2120-1 Recovered SCP-2120 Instances Designation 2120-02 Vessel Name CCS Air Lana Date of Appearance February 13, 1985 Anomalous Characteristics Instance resembles a 19th century clipper ship, notably modified for military use instead of trade. Several large gun mounts are present on the deck, but all were found empty. A device that appears to be a non-functional cold fusion reactor was found below deck. Purpose unknown. Hull is composed entirely of plastic. Designation 2120-08 Vessel Name CCS Vigo Kennedy Date of Appearance August 2, 1987 Anomalous Characteristics Instance resembles a modern cruise ship. Interior of the vessel has been fitted with a large number of cryogenic stasis pods, many of which appear to have been broken open by force. A large, black cylindrical mechanism sits within the center of the main concourse, the purpose of which is unknown. The mechanism produces small amounts of alpha radiation at consistent intervals. Designation 2120 10 D. Vessel Name CCS John Henry Hitchcock. Date of Appearance March 28, 1991. Anomalous Characteristics Instance resembles a modern nuclear submarine. During exploration, onboard teams inadvertently activated a defense mechanism. Nearby vessels are struck with torpedoes that grossly increase the local gravity, crushing them. MTF Gamma-6 authorized to destroy instance. Wreckage moved to Site-65 for further investigation. Designation 2120-13 Vessel Name CCS New Indianapolis Date of Appearance December 20th, 1991 Anomalous Characteristics Instance is an unidentified vessel, octopoid in nature, measuring roughly 500 meters from end to end. 
appears to be a habitation vessel. However, it is currently believed that the manner in which 2120-13 propels itself through water was inimical to its passengers. Recovered logs indicate no tests were performed that did not end in the loss of human life. Designation 2120-19 Vessel Name CCS Her Majesty Queen Alabama Jersey Date of Appearance May 15, 1994 Anomalous Characteristics Instance resembles a modern Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. Flight deck has been fitted with a number of large, cannon-like armaments. Recovered ammunition appears to have been designed to alter the atomic structure of all biological matter within its blast radius, changing it to lead. Designation 2120-29 Vessel Name CCS Paint with all the colors of the wind Date of Appearance September 9, 1997 Anomalous Characteristics Instance resembles a Wyoming-class battleship. Exploration has determined that the instance has been fitted with a device that can render the entire vessel invisible to the naked eye. Activating this device releases a massive amount of gamma radiation. Collected Data Logs The following log excerpts have been collected from functional terminals throughout SCP-2120 instances. Date 1-34-18 Logged by Engineer Fife Note to whoever keeps trying to install matter disruptors on the Youngtown Fremont. Kind of silly to have matter disruptors on a ship fighting against ships that aren't made up of matter. Christ, you guys need to figure it out. Date 71218. Logged by Engineer Yule. We keep running into the same problem with the Absolute Zero drives, and it's something we're going to have to start addressing here soon. I know it's a neat idea to build a ship that creates more energy than it expends, but ruining thermodynamics might not be worth the extra money you're saving. Date 24918. Logged by Captain Zahn. Another day, another catastrophic meltdown of the Graviton Core. I know we're supposed to keep our chins up about this, but honestly, I feel as if we've sent more ships back to New Miami than we've kept out on the campaign. It's a good thing the Loadmaster kept on all of those Approxima shells too, because Christ knows the handle marks fell flat on their ass. Date 1219 From CEO Predivis to Admiral Nabisco. Bottom line is, feds aren't happy with some of the stuff we're shipping out. There's already talks about crimes against humanity and human rights violations. Before you say anything about it, by the way, I understand that the cellular readjustment batteries were probably ill-advised. Honestly, sometimes I think that these fuckers don't even want to win the war. Anyway, I know stuff is getting pretty feisty right now, but when all of this blows over, we're going to be staring some pretty serious shit in the eye, so we need to get this figured out fast. All of these things that aren't working, that keep falling apart, that inadvertently slaughter thousands of innocent civilians, we're going to have to find a way to get rid of them. Gotta keep our hands clean here. I talked to Father Mexico, and he figures he and his boys can work up something that we can just dump everything into. Shouldn't bother anybody, since we can probably pull most of the lethal stuff before we toss it. Might become a problem if the embedded Omnicore realignment matrix on the CCS Hoover Dam shits out, though. Either way, better them than us. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.